Corrugated metal roofing is an efficient, long-lasting material that installs quickly and suits even the roughest climates. Agriculture metal roofs are designed for fail-safe installation, as long as you follow the manufacturer's instructions and use the proper components. In fact, you are less likely to make a mistake installing metal roofing than you are with asphalt shingles. Let's begin the installation process. Step one is to install the starter. You run a chalk line through the starter area so that you have a straight line to install it in. Cut and fasten the drip edge. The location of the fasteners are a few inches up from the edge of the eave. Step two, install ice and water shield and along with the membrane. As mentioned before, the best practice is to strip down the shingles and start afresh, but you could also go with putting the membrane over the existing shingles. The entire roof should be covered with a high quality synthetic underlayment and should be installed over the main roof decking. Installation should be done in compliance with the building codes local to your area. Keep in mind that the building codes in this area can change from zone to zone. A high temperature, non-gradual ice and water shield are also recommended. It will be required to install along eaves, rake edges, valleys, the hip, ridge assemblies, and around all roof penetrations and flashings. The next step is to install the foam. You install the foam along the baseline of the eave or drip edge above the starter. This step is used to prevent the infestation of in insects or small animals. Step four, cut the panels to length. The next step is cutting the panels to length in order to have the right fit for your roof, unless you pre-order the correct size. Step 5. Pre-drill the panels. The next step is to pre-drill the panels. This can either be done before installation or once it's on the roof. Step 6. Install the panels onto the roof. We now install the panels on the roof and make sure the overhang is at least 2 inches for proper drainage. To secure the panels properly, use fasteners that are at least 1.75 inches.
Step 7. Installing the remaining flashings. The rest of the video demonstrates how to install custom flashings such as gables, ridge caps, end caps, and when applicable to openings such as dormers, chimneys, and skylights. This exposed fastener system can also be used as siding. One of the major benefits is that in case of any damage, only the damaged panel or panels needs to be replaced instead of the whole side structure. It should be noted that in roofing, a minimum of a 412 pitch is needed for this profile.
For more videos, profiles, installation instructions, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you very much.